Let's do some training. Tell me about yesterday quickly. Yesterday we went out to so this attorney that uh, Kelly had set up and um, what was his name? Her, her name her was... Name? Oh, I made a terrible mistake, didn't I? Mm -hmm. He should call me on that. My office was only about 90% women. You think I'd know better, <laughs> right? Her name was, I'm sorry. Kelly? Mindy Jarvis. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, and how'd the meeting go? You know, it went really good. We had a chance to, to review her website. We found out some issues that she's got as far as marketing. We found out uh, issues she's got with her website because she's just one of the partners in, or I don't even know if she's a partner, but she's in the law firm and she has no control over the main website. So she's an associate. Yeah. Okay. And so, but when they built the main website, they built each associate their own website. And the deal was they were supposed to ha uh, be able to get in and make changes and and certain things are supposed to be done that never has been done, and so she wants to just do that on her own. Okay. So there's two opportunities here for us, right? Mm -hmm. what, what are they? Well, we, I mean, as far as what we can do for her, right? There's a lot we can do for right. her. But there's two major, major opportunities. There's one for her personally, and one for us. But well, that one too. So really, three options. <laughs> one for us. I like that. I like the way you think. I like that. One for us, one for her individually, but the firm's got problems, right? How many associates are part of that firm? How many each and quite a few. Okay. So it's an opportunity to get It's an opportunity to do all of them, right? Right. Let's use her as our uh, platform, which means we've got to make that baby sparkle and jump out and grab a hold of you and say, hey, here we are. She right. even showed us on her website that she really likes. That she, that she wants to emulate? she wants to. Okay. She gave that to Excellent. Them. Okay, so where did that lead come from? Me. Okay, where did it come from? Uh, you know, personal you know experience. Lindsay? Personal experience. Okay, yeah. so you had a you had a uh, an association already with Lindsay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, hold on a second. So how did you make the contact? I just called her up and I said, you know, I was looking at the uh, <coughs> website and I've, I've had typed in. Okay. Or in Google, and I said I had typed in female uh, attorney, defense attorney. Said you weren't aware to be seen on that first Google page or the second. However, a lady named Jean, Jean Doe popped up saying the best defense is female defense attorney in Utah. Okay. Lindsay's super competitive, and I know that. Right. So Lindsay's like, well, who the heck is that? And I was like, well, I don't know, you tell me. Okay. She shouldn't even be on there. I should be on there. Okay. <laughs> so that, that point, so you I hit a like, couple of deficiency buttons right away, right? So I was like, then let's get you so that you're you are on there. Okay. And then I said, do you have a website now? She says I do, but I don't. I can't do anything with it. I mm -hmm. created it, but then I didn't know until yesterday it was wrong that she actually can get into that website. She doesn't know how to make the changes because mm -hmm. it's be encrypted. Right. Uh, but she but she's got access to the back end. Yes. So we just got to go in and rewrite some code and do what we need to do. Right. right? Okay. And, she, and so. I mean, that was right there. We also okay. spoke about um, getting uh, the QR codes put on her okay. business cards. So okay. that she, when she does send them out, it's okay. a direct link right to right. her. Okay. Of course. So there's a lot of opportunities okay. with her, and, and in particular, in addition, obviously, to obtaining maybe Alan Easton as uh, business from multiple of their associates. And how many attorney firms are there just in the Salt Lake Valley? Not even off that front. Too many. Um, what do you think? I said it's about four or five thousand. At least. Guarantee there's at least that many books. Right? So here's one. Great demographic for us to start to penetrate. Right? And if I'm a, a shaky pizza, or a shaky pizza or rest, <laughs> if I'm a shaky pizza and I hear that Pizza Hut's doing something and I'm not, what happens? The efficiency button gets hit, mm -hmm. right? So as we start to build these, get a little bit of name drop. Oh yeah. Right? Joyce Matthew, you know Joyce, right? A little mm -hmm. steam lady. Right. Right? Well, their machine's in the Huntsman Cancer Center. We use that in every single conversation. The real big name dropper, right? Attorneys know other firms, right? I'd like to stay with the really successful firms for this, okay? The ones you see, you guys, that may be smaller, still want to penetrate them, a little different approach. But this is a great starting point. 
absolutely one proud of you. Okay. I've got way more. Okay, and that and that's good. Okay, here's the deal. I want to really work with you very very closely. Okay, to keep you as efficient as you possibly can be. Not that you're not efficient as yet. Okay, but I guarantee there's a lot of room for growth. Right. If we lose even just an hour a day, you drive to two or three appointments. Right. You've lost an hour a day. By the end of the year, you've gone from a 12 month calendar to an 11 month calendar. You've lost an entire month that one hour lost a day. So we want to look at efficiency. We want to look at how we can keep you just absolutely in front of people. Here's the greatest skill set that we have already, right? You, your personality. You're not scared to walk through a door, right? Yep. You're very comfortable in conversing with people, right? I told Ron, yet, or Ron yesterday, I said, you know what? I like your personality. You're you're a little bit sluggish. Not sluggish in a bad way, or oh, I can't get moving. You're a little bit sluggish in, hey, I can be really candid with you. Right? Well, isn't that what we all should be? We should be having really candid conversations, right? Mm -hmm. So I love all those skill sets. But those all can come way, way up for all of us, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to work on with you today, okay. okay, is working on some of those things. First of all, a couple of things I want to give you a couple of assignments directly, if I may, okay? Mm -hmm and have you start to participate in what Ron already does with us as well, okay? Having us linked together every single day, okay, is absolutely vital to not only your individual success, but the success of the things that we're doing together as an organization, mm -hmm. right? I'd like you to start reporting daily to me, quick, easy format, just electronically, okay? Yeah. And go ahead. Well, I'm going to be reporting to him too. Okay. So you guys CC me on it. Okay. Yeah, just, just CC. It can, be the, it can be the same report, but the information that I'm going to be looking for, Ron may be looking for other things as well, but I want to be specific for what I'm going to be looking for because I play a, I, I'm a piece of the pie here too, and I've got a specific role that I'm playing. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to see is who you're contacting every day, specifically. Who are they? What's the name of the organization? What happened on each of those calls? What we need to do? Did we get just a dead nose? We're not interested, and we need to move on. Or is there other things that need to occur? Okay. And we've got another meeting set, whatever the case may be. That's one area. I'd like to also have us start to, and part of what I'd like to do today is to sit down. We know what your minimum standards of achievement are, right? Mm -hmm. We've already classified and, and, and uh, you know talked about what those are. But that's not where you should have your goal. Okay. That's just our minimum level, right? So I'd like to know what your goal is, okay? And then every single day, I'd like to see a countdown coming on that. You're not going to make a sale every day. We know that, okay? If you perfect that system, you let me know. We'll both make a lot of money with it, okay? But even the best don't make sales every single day, mm -hmm. right? So there are going to be some days we're going to have some good sales. Okay, that's all right. But what I do want to see is if the goal, say, is $20,000 for the month, when you make a $500 sale, I need to see that total. Hey, now I've only got... You know, uh, uh, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know the numbers that you're at. Okay. So I can see a running total. I've got about 140 people each day that report to me in these types of formats. So if I'm not getting the running total, it's really difficult because then I've got to go back and search through other emails to see what the running total is. You should know what your running total is every single day. Where am I right. in, in juxtaposition to my goal? The only right? concern I have with that is I. You, I've been, I'm impressed with them. I mm -hmm. can't even get, Ron's got the, um, the, the user website for me to put in the appointments of the people I talk to. Mm -hmm. But what, what I would suggest that you do is, is do Lawrence's and not do the website one right now. Okay, but then with Lawrence's it's just in an a email format. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to have to turn it over and put it on because I have to have, I'd like the notes to be on my calendar and stuff too. That's why I like when you're seeing a lot because I want to see it mm -hmm. and do on content. Right, and and that's what I want to see. I right. mean, here's the problem: if I only get to see what you're doing once a week, that's really difficult to help you. Right. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis, it really, really helps. Okay. Here's the deal: a little bit of time up front to get the system started, but the reporting system realistically is about five minutes a day. Right. Okay. So, you want to calendar that time? Okay. You know what your schedule is. Find a time that works for you. I don't care when the reporting comes. It can come at midnight. I've got emails from you at odd hours, and you've got them from me at odd hours as well. I don't care when it comes as long as I can do it every single day, because then I can interact with you every single day yeah. about what's going on. Some of the contacts you may be making, 
I may already have associations with. And then you if can... I do, I want to give you that information before you vent with them so we can walk in three or four ladders up rather than having to start down at the bottom. So another scenario I'd like you to start to implement for yourself, okay? And we can have open conversation about this. One thing I want, I know Ron's very clear on this, but you may not be, is that just because it's my idea doesn't mean that we have to accept it, okay? I do want and welcome your commentary here as well. But there are some absolute key ingredients that have to be placed here somehow for us to be successful. Right. Okay. The other one of those is, so the daily reporting should be pretty quick and easy. And once that starts, what I would suggest you do is just use the template that you used the first time for it, and then just fill in your new information with it. Really quick and easy to do. Part two, I would like you to start to work on a top 100 list for yourself of contacts. Okay. You've already got some of those with, okay. But, so we can start that, here's the deal. As soon as I say 100 contacts, your mind's already saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm feeling overwhelmed, okay? Break it down into 10 specific categories, 10 contacts in each category. Well, we know the law firms, right? We've got a foot in the door, so to speak. Let's find 10 law firms that are similar to this, okay? How about 10 medical practitioners? All right, 10 dentists. Okay, 10 dentists. That's what we're going okay. to do. Okay, great, and, that, and that's terrific. If you'll keep them in demographics, you'll make that 100 list just like that. Because to grab 10 in each category is really simple. And like you do in a restaurant, thing too, with that uh, Mexican place. Oh, yeah, El Chihuahua. Um, I engaged him okay. the other day. I don't have any connections. I just Okay. El Chihuahua on 39th and Highland? Yeah, I just yeah. didn't got okay. it. So, and then... Um, I grew up in the bar that was below there called Magnum and Eve a long time ago. So bad. Well, now it's called a bar named Sue or something. But, uh, oh, right. Yeah. But, um, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I've uh, I've already like um, I'm going to be reaching out to to uh, Crystal Lynn's uh, marketing department because okay. I had introduced during this meeting okay. the idea of QR codes. Right. Who do you know over there? Who um, Crystal Lynn are talking about? Corporate or individual? It'll be it's individual. Okay. Because I've got a contact over the one over here in uh, right by Bruce Capel on 72nd there. Okay. Uh, this gal right here, she wants me to I'm gonna email her, and <coughs> she's going to give me the and information. Four. See, this is a different contact. She's brand right new. Okay. And she said that she really likes the idea of the okay. QR codes and that right. she really thinks that the, the marketing department will like, love it. Okay. So I think the contact I have is probably her boss. Very nice lady, and I can't, for some reason I'm having problems with calling her name, but I'll pull that information up, and let's, let at least, if anything else, use the information we have to strengthen the, the beginning of that relationship. Okay. 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 Okay
So he coached this whole group, about 100 people that were kicked out of the event because they were overstocked. And he just said, well, since we're all here, so he went into a whole little presentation about life coaching systems. We've already lost two deals from that. And those are great environments. And I think we'll probably have a handful more that will come from that one, one event. So we should be working in those areas as well, okay? So a couple of things. Top 100 was getting made, okay? And what I'd like to see, if you can get that done by Monday, so we can hit next Monday, rocking and rolling, okay? And and if and if you can't, let's talk about it, okay? <laughs> but, but, let me, but let me tell you what I'm looking for overall so we, so we can make some agreements there. Then that top 100 list should get broken down in two-week time period. Ten a day, five days in the week, I've got two weeks of dedicated, specific appointments, specific places, specific companies I've identified. I'm not wandering around in circles. Okay, got a very stipulated pathway to follow. Okay, here's the deal. You've already got appointments. Okay, but so, there's discovery. It's not really appointments. And that's okay. Well, discovery is that's our that's our first appointment. That's our selling process, well, right? Yeah. We're I, a four part selling process, right? right? So let, let's review some of this really quick and make sure we all are on the same page. I just was telling Ron that yeah. in my idea is if I'm going to meet with somebody, it's going to be a discovery. It's not me going to go in and say, hey, can I, can I find out about you? Yes or no. It's already, they've already proved yes or no. Right, can. right. And I, and I think that's important. Now, part of that, if you're cold calling, okay, which is a great way to do this, you may <coughs> not like to do it, but if I can show you a way to make you comfortable and show you an income stream that can come from that, you may have some interest. Don't have to buy any. You're not going to force anyone to do something they don't want to do because, frankly, it'd be unsuccessful. But the reality is, if we walk into a cold calling place, why don't I pick up and cold calling together? Right? That's not the problem. Sometimes we have been able to meet with someone right then and there. But the majority of the time I walk in, I'm like, I am interested in a relationship. Uh, I've got time uh, Tuesday or Thursday. When can I come back and, and meet with you? Okay? So there's some things that we can do. Oh, you mean cold calling has been going. You're not talking about phone calling. No, 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 no. I'm talking about walking through someone's oh, that's door. That's fine. I'm okay? not big on okay. phone calling. Yeah, and I'm not big on the phone either because the phone becomes very imprisoning. And yet, we're also. There's very few things that are positive about a phone call because you've only got one thing working for you your voice. Right? You don't have body language. You don't have what? You don't have the ability to get eye contact. You don't have the ability to really get in in the, in the, in the format you do face to face. You don't have the okay? So, a couple of things I'm looking for. Top 100. Okay? Daily top 10 on a calendar. Monday I've got 10. Tuesday I've got 10. Wednesday I've got 10. Two weeks. So you're doing the top 100 how often? Every two weeks. Right? Top 100. Two times a month. If you do this, you will become one of the most efficient salespeople. Okay, literally only about three percent of us <coughs> do this stuff. Okay, you're talking to a guy that has a 92 percent closing ratio, and the average sale in my company is about eight thousand bucks. Okay, I use this exact same formula for myself. It works. It works extremely well. So, top ten every day. Monday, I've got a whole list of companies I'm going to go plan on seeing. Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, same thing. Okay? Go ahead. How, okay, so 10 appointments today, I mean, how, where does someone find the time to A, get to the networking meetings, B, network themselves, C, make door to doors or calls? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question. one of those before? Calendar, right? Do you know what that was? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I know how much smarter you are than I. Uh, I, well, I looked at it, I'm like, I'm not sure I know what that is either. It works. Here's the thing about calendars, okay? You know what a calendar is. Yeah, I do. Know. You probably even use one, okay? Do you think you use it efficiently? Probably, well, I do it, I have a calendar, I don't use the calendar, okay. I use my um, to-do list, and okay. so everything is literally written down what okay. by the minute that I need to right. be done or that I'm going to be okay. and I check it off. Okay. So that's a good addition too because it's, an, it's another area of accountability and measurability, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're not using the calendar for this business, you'll die. Okay. Because you do have very specific appointments being made very specific times. Right. right? So 
You already the reminder, used them. The reminder is going to want to make with my calendar. Right. So not, it reminds me right. So, that I right. have this going on so you got calendar. both of those working together. Here's the, the, the way to really calendar effectively. Okay. One, go through your calendar tonight or tomorrow when, whenever you have the time to do it. Okay. And get all of your personal stuff on that calendar. Okay? You've already got some on there right now on your to-do list. I saw one. Get ready, it said, or something. Yeah, that was right? yesterday. Just well, that's okay. But listen, I have a very, very stipulated routine that I follow each and every day. Okay? <coughs> I get up and I exercise. Okay? It's on my calendar. By the time I leave work and I've got all my stuff every day on my calendar, because if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't exist. Period. Right. Okay? I've got my kids' stuff on there. Mm -hmm. When I do homework, literally with my kids. Uh, if I'm going to dinner with my wife, it's on my calendar. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, all personal stuff first, because even though you may tell me, hey, you know what, I'm going to make sure my business stuff always takes priority over my personal stuff, that's not the reality. Okay, not that I've seen in energy. almost 15 years of this industry. I've seen just the opposite. Okay? So, personal first, then all your business stuff. Okay? Here's the deal. If you'll use this methodology, okay, your calendar will be two weeks out, okay, all the time, okay. It'll take about 10 days to build this, to fill the pipeline at first, okay, but then it's all just maintenance. It gets much easier on a day-to-day -day basis, okay. The other side of this is, you know with real specificity, who I'm contacting, okay. Now, you said, I don't want to do a whole lot of calling, mm -hmm. right. So, am I going to drive to all of these? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to network and make these appointments uh, with their discoveries. And okay. So concrete. Here's, here's what I do want to do. Okay. Let's go into our four-part sales process. We have a point of contact somewhere. Networking group. Okay. Walked off the elevator. Right? Walked on the elevator. Went to my dentist. Right? Went to your dentist. Uh, thought about an old uh, association I have. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Those are points of contact. That's step one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Step two is our discovery. Okay. I don't know what I did there. Step two is a discovery. Put a big D there. Okay. That's where you take from this point of contact and you say, hey, you know what? I'd like to meet with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That can be done in several ways. Face to face. If I'm in a networking group and I have technology with me, hey, I've got uh, Thursday at three or Friday at four. Mm -hmm. Right. If I don't have that capability. For some reason, my computer died, left my cell phone in, whatever, right? I'm going to have to make a call. Or I can choose to be really inefficient, drive back and forth. An email. But, well, here's the problem with an email, okay? Does an email allow me to make that about you? Not really, because people are going to read an email and they're going to absorb that information through their own filtering system. Oh, I just meant, okay? instead of, like, for example, the Crystal Land. Mm -hmm. um, her and I, while we've met face to face, mm -hmm. that's done. We've created a personal relationship where I'm right. going to help her out with some things. Good. And then I'm going to email her today as soon as I get the opportunity so she can give me the contact information right. for the market. Right. So you, but you already passed this, this area, mm -hmm. right? So here, point of contact. My big deal is, listen, I just came back from a networking group, okay? My big deal is, when I agree, hand all those cards off to my team to get going on, but I come in with stacked cards. Mm. Start calling and set an appointment, right? So there will be a little bit of homework here, okay? But step two is our discovery. That's where we're going in. We discover what their wants, needs, and desires are. Where are the holes in the system today? Oh, partners told me I was going to have my own website. I was going to be able to make my own changes. It's going to be cool, groovy. Don't have it. That's a shortcoming, right? Well, we gain that information in our discovery. Step three, we leave their office, right? We left her office yesterday. Did we ask her for a sale yesterday? No. Why? Because she's got to figure out what's going to work for her. Exactly. We're not prepared. We're not a generic company any more than my company is generic, right? We've got to make it about you, which means this is not a sale that I say, hey, uh, sign here, give me $20, and I give you the product today. Right. Right? There's some thought that needs to go in. So this step three is our proposal generation. We've got that scheduled right. for uh, Well, you and I have to do the pro proposal yeah, so generation. Yeah, stay with me, right? Because okay. okay. proposal generation is going to be the two of you. That's where you take the information from the discovery, and we put it into a format. I have it online. Okay.
Okay? I did a discovery. I put some information together. Got it. Okay? By the way, there's are people you probably need to talk to. Okay? Once the proposal is generated, then I go to step four, which is my closing. Now, let's talk about efficiencies and inefficiencies. Okay? If you're driving to all of these, highly inefficient. We know that. Okay? Part two is this. When do I set this closing appointment? After the discovery on two. Okay. During my discovery. Right. Okay. Well, during it. I set this appointment while I'm here. Right. Okay. How do I do it? You just let them know that we are going to go back and come up with some good ideas to help get them seen. And like it. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what I'd like to suggest. Okay. We're going to go back and we're going to digest the information that you gave us. We're going to put together some ideas specific for solutions around these ideas. And I'd like to obviously sit back down with you and, and go over those ideas and then we can we can uh, make final decisions about them. All right? So I've done a few things there. One, I've already offered reciprocation. Right? I'm going to go do some work for you for free and then I'm going to come back. I've also <laughs> planted the seed that I'm looking for a final commitment. As I said, then we can make final decisions. Right? That ties into another social science, commitment and consistency, right? Because when they agree to that appointment, they agree to a final decision being made as well, right? The other side is, is when I make the appointment here, when's my best time to have this, or, or when I'm in this appointment, excuse me, when's my best time to set this appointment? Of course it's while I'm here. Right. So what I want to say is while I'm in that appointment, listen, it's going to take me blank number of days to put a proposal together for you, okay? I generally like to allow myself and my team 48 hours at a minimum, okay? So whatever that time period is for you, and I, I would recommend here probably 72 hours, okay? Because there's some training that's going on. Have you made a proposal yet for global? Have you put a proposal together for this company yet? Oh, no. Not yet, right? You're gonna have to learn that process, right? right? So I would plan on probably a 72 hour leeway right now. We can start to shorten that down once you're fully trained in those areas, but there's a learning curve for you as there is in any company, right? You're going to do them together at the start, but at some point, you're going to know how to put a proposal together, right? But I'm going to know everything that they, they mean. So, like, for example, I wouldn't have known yesterday without Ron being there mm -hmm. that I could get, that her website that she has now, that we could go ahead and enhance that for right. her. Right, right. Because I didn't know, have that knowledge. Exactly. So there's a learning curve. Right, that we're going to have to go through, and that's going to continue on. But at some point during that learning curve, you're going to have enough information that you're going to be able to put a proposal together, or at least a majority of proposals together, and then say, Ron, I have questions. How does this apply? Ron, I don't have that knowledge, but you do. Uh, give me some help. Because the, the standard operating procedure that's already built for this is the first few you and Ron work on together fully. Mm -hmm. After about three of those, Ron's going to say, hey, here's the discovery. You did it. Put your proposal together and send it to me. Okay. And okay? then maybe in your then, look at anything I didn't uh, Exactly. Didn't then what we do is you're participating in the process already. Because, listen, I can fish for you all day long. Right? But if I die, how do you eat? If I haven't taught you how to fish, so to speak. Right? And that's what we're going to do. Not so that I'm going to die. Part, part of the teaching, I didn't say you, I said me. You know why men die before their wives, right? All the stress? No, because we want to. <laughs> so, I know, I heard that the other day, and I'm like, I need to take that. I told the guy I was going to use it, and I have already. I like it. But the reality is this. If we're just doing it for you, and you're not actually having to turn your mind on and start to incorporate those ideas, you'll never learn. So, I, there's no right or wrong answers when you put a proposal together, but I want to see where your thought processes are. I want Ron to see, hey, here's where she's really strong. Here's some areas we need to train on. Well, that's okay. what I was saying yesterday, though, to you. I was like, I want to know, when I asked you for the price list, and of course you said you never give it to him, and I wouldn't, but I want to see everything. Right. You know, and then I wanted to understand, you know, everything and how... How does this uh, certain thing apply or sure, would apply sure. to this and, particular and, and person? Let's, and let's be real with each other, okay? That's the process. It just is. It doesn't matter what I don't care if it's McDonald's we're talking about. That's a process. 
to learn that information. We're never going to have all our ducks in a row ever because we're constantly evolving, right. which means we're constantly bringing new ducks onto the line, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to get comfortable with, hey, I've got knowledge today, and I can work with that. I'm going to have more knowledge tomorrow, and I'll be even more effective, and more knowledge a month from now. You know, three months from now, you'll look back and go, oh, my God, I can't believe I used to say that, or I did that, or I didn't know that. But you've had the experience. We have to allow ourselves the experience to learn this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I don't expect that you, you're coming in. That's why we've got training designed for you, okay? So that's the four-part sales process. Closing appointment is set during the discovery appointment, right? Mm -hmm. You start to put your own proposals together after you've done three, okay? And then you send them to Ron for review, okay? Mm -hmm. Ron, where do you send your proposals generally for review? Sometimes to the programmer. Right? And sometimes, I've seen one or two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right? I've had Ron do that as well, so that I can look through what you guys are proposing and talking about, right? And say, hey, that's perfect, which I've said sometimes, or hey, what about blank? Okay? It's a great learning experience. There's no right or wrong answers, okay, necessarily, but it's a learning experience that if you're involved and absorbed in on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll pick it up that quick. You're highly intelligent, okay? You'll, you'll grab this information much better and much quicker, and that's part of the key, right? I know you've got some salary getting paid to you, but that's not what, that's what, right. that's not what you're living on, I hope, no. right? No, my goal is to, like I was coming around today, I said the last thing I'm going to do I was asking him about, you know, his appointments, how many, out of the calls he makes, how many right. did he get for appointments, and out of those appointments, how many, how many actual discoveries and that he gets to do. And right. I, my goal is to never have that. It's not going to take place. Right. I go to somebody, it's going to be a discovery. Okay. I'm going to come back to them, and I, if they say no to, I mean, the majority is fine, but I guarantee you, they will see the value yeah. at least. Right. And one or two things, right. and, and we will have a closing. Right. And that's the great thing about it, right, is we've got a lot of value. It's our job to put that value up, right? If we don't, then the only thing people ever see is price. So, you know, if people are starting to say, oh, price, 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 I better get some value in what I'm talking about here, right? So, and we'll talk about that as we continue to do some training, because this is, you know, listen, 45 minutes isn't going to cover the training we need to provide for you by any means, okay? But here's the reality. You can't be downtown or leave in 15 minutes. All right. Who? Okay. We'll be done then. Right? right? Okay. So, that four-part sales process, just so you know it in your head, right? right? That's kind of what you're asking for. Hey, can I see it from A to Z? That's it. Okay? Top 10, absolutely vital. If you don't do it, I guarantee you won't be as successful as you think you can be or that you really can be if you do it. Okay? I'm kind of conflicted on what you mean, top. 100. I mean, okay. you want me to go me, and look let me for back 100? Up. Yeah, I want you to pre-identify 100 companies. Okay. Okay, that you have interest in going to, to connect with. Right? Identifying 100 companies would take me, and putting them down, will take me at least two, three hours of my time. How many no. attorneys? No. No, you're wrong. Let's no. use technology. Okay, I get in on any search engine, and I type in attorneys in Salt Lake. Boom. And there could be in. 10. Uh, uh, window washers in Salt Lake. And that's uh, what you want? Sure. You okay. pick your 10 categories. You and Ron should probably have a talk. There are some better categories <coughs> than others, right? I'm Room sales people probably aren't our hardest hit because they probably don't even have a website, right? But having a top 100, where else are you going to get your leads? How are you going to create those leads for yourself every day? Well, I've thought about, I have so many places in mind, I'll just categorize okay. them now. So that, I'm okay yeah. with that as well, but that's what I'm asking you to do, is let's put some structure into this thing, right. and also controllable structure, right. right? Because here's the other side of this. You lay out 10 of these on Tuesday, Ron knows about those 10, I know about those 10, you know about those 10, we're having a conversation. Right? Oh, I only did two of these. Really? What happened? We had eight other ones we were going to hit today. What happened? Well, I actually uh, got into two discoveries right then and sold one, whatever. Right? But it allows us the opportunity to truly converse about what's going on. Having a daily mapping for yourself. Okay? Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate. Well, Keep no, it really simple. I'm Hold trying. on. No, just stay with me. This list can be the top one, the first hundred people you want to go see. Let's take it from the top 100. Let's make it the first 100. I want to know the first 100 people you're going to go to contact. Okay. okay? 
out of that, I want you to take that list and I want you to break it down in two weeks. There's five working days per week, 10 contacts a day puts you in two weeks. Right? When you're saying contacts, you just want me to call at that point? You want me to have 10 contacts a day that I We're going to make a contact for and say, hey, I've got some interest in meeting with you, and then I'm going to set up this meeting. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. You sure? So looks like you're confused. Well, I'm just, um, again, 10 contacts a day, and I, um, I mean, you said, Tuesday comes about, and why didn't you, why are we only at three when you had a proposal and you won't get a sale? Well, what if I've scheduled, like, seven other things, or call, or things, well, and they all get put to the back, and I look like well, a, a well, jack. they're not going to get all put to the back. I mean, okay. it for the next day, or... Right. Here's the deal, okay? As you start to fill up your calendar, remember we talked about, we've got to get a big push to fill the pipe. The pipe's empty right now. No. Well, how many appointments do you actually have that are set? Um, I've got... Well, with yesterday's, today's, I've got one tomorrow, I've got one Monday, I've got one Wednesday, okay. I've got uh, so, one Friday. So hang tight with me. We're asking for 10 a day. I've got one today, one tomorrow, one Wednesday, one Friday. We're nine off a day. So, There's a dramatic difference. See, but again, that's where I'm at. You want me to do 10 I want you discoveries to a day? I want you to concentrate on making 10 contacts a day. Contact okay? and discovery. Contact. Okay, because here's the deal. The contact, remember, point of contact, number one, leads to the discovery. Okay, so 10 of these a day start leading to your discovery. Here's the deal. You're not going to, when you start making these 10 calls, not everybody's going to say, Wednesday, I can meet with you. Those will start to get spread out on various days of your calendar. Then you're going to start to have less openings, and you'll have to fill okay. a little gaps. Well, that my problem, my confusion was the fact okay. that you're saying contact, right. and contact, and I'm right. thinking of actually having 10 full Right. Um, no, you discoveries can't do 10 discoveries. Uh, that's what I was saying. Right. I was like, Average what are you discovery about? about an hour, yeah. right? I guess you could work 10 hour days, but I wouldn't suggest <laughs> you do <laughs> that. Okay? Like, In fact, what, what I really want to do is have you work 8 hour days and get 10 to 12 hours of production out of those hours by being efficient, mm -hmm. okay? And that's why we're talking about this stuff. Mm. Here's the deal. Right now, the pipeline, if we've got one a day, here's the edge of the pipe, we're but drinking one. But it wasn't okay. one contact a day, it's actually the actual, I mean, I've had more contact yeah. throughout the you're day. you're talking about now you've got discovery appointments set, yeah, right? I've but contact. still, one a day, that's not good enough. How many discoveries do we want? Because here's the difference. We talked about contact. Ten a day. Let's go to step two. How many discoveries can we do a day? Four, okay, right? probably four. Okay, figure an hour, an hour for each one. There's probably some drive time involved, right? If if we get four <coughs> discoveries a day, how many opportunities do we have a week? Twenty a week, right? Four weeks in the month. That's eighty opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay, at a ten percent close ratio. Okay, which frankly is far below, I think, what we'll see from you. Okay, but let's deal with worst case scenario. At a 10% close ratio, okay, that's how many deals a month? And that's eight deals a month. What's our average deal? 1,500. 1,500. What's the math? $8,000. $12,000. $12,000. Okay, wow, I came up with that one pretty good. I can't spell discovery, <laughs> but I can do math. That's not me because I'm not good at math. Here's the deal. That's where we, this is a numbers game. Right. Just like anything else, right? Mm -hmm. So, stay with this four method sales process and that'll help with these. This first top 10 and top 100 go to the contacts. Okay? From those contacts, you're going to start to build discoveries and we want four a day. Okay? Imagine now, as this continues, how quick your calendar gets full. Because right. the idea is to fill your calendar right now. Right? The more appointments, the more money you make, the more business we have, that's what we want. And the other side is the more people we're helping, right? Does this gal need help, this Lindsay attorney? Yeah, yeah sounds like she <coughs> really does, right? You hit a couple of other buttons just in personal knowledge. Is it great to have some personal knowledge walking in? Yeah. You knew she was competitive. Well, I see, uh, you know, whoever it is on the deal. Who's that? I should be there, right? I love that because... What we've done, they're engaged with us, one, and they've also recognized the deficiencies. Well, who has the solution for those deficiencies? We do, 
right? Right on our pathway, okay? So, right now you want to just concentrate on these appointments being made because the appointments lead to the discovery, the discoveries lead to the proposal generation, and obviously the proposal generation leads to our closing, right? But we, we can't start down here. We've got to start right here at step one, which is to get that list made, okay? I don't care if you want to do it in categories. If you've got 100 people that you've already identified, let's get them on paper, so to speak, so they're clear. And then let's take them and say, hey, on Monday of next week, what's the date next Monday? Uh, 11th? Okay. Monday the 11th, I should have 10 companies that you've decided you're going to make contact to. Tuesday the 12th, I should have 10. Wednesday the 13th, I should be at big group. Right? <coughs> Because then Lawrence can personally introduce you to a whole bunch of people there. And that's okay. here? Nope. Neil Bryce's office. Oh, okay. You saw my back room, didn't you? That's right. I had to expand. So, let's concentrate on that area, okay? Reporting daily, we've talked about that, okay? I'm going to interact with you on those reports, okay? Ron gives me different information that I look for. Ron gives me some monetary things and other things in the company. Okay? But Ron also reports activity. Here's the deal. That's a tool for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it. And if you don't, I'm never going to call you up and say, why aren't you reporting to? I'm just going to look at you and say, oh, you must not be very interested in real success because you're doing behaviors that are only going to give you limited success. Mm -hmm. I can tell you in almost 15 years in this business, Okay? The people that report daily are the ones that you see the success with. And the ones that don't are the ones that you don't see greater levels of success well, My with. sigh wasn't because I have to report. My yeah. sigh was because I want to report to you from the Global Marketing Club website and okay. I can't get on it. <laughs> Why not? Well, you're on it. Well, I mean, I can't, I don't even know how to access it. Okay. Like so only with the exception of my, um, Reporting it to my okay. Email. Next, next All assignment right. for you then. Okay, right. I need a list of your wants, needs, and desires. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'd like to see that to me and Ron. Okay, okay. and then we'll build a strategy to help get them. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know what what those are unless you tell me. Right. right? So having that, I appreciate the fact that <coughs> you are candid and willing to tell us those things because that's obviously helpful, right? But get those to us and we'll build the build what we need to to get that. Yeah, that I wrote a to you. Do you have a bum arm? Yeah. What'd you do? I'm not quite sure. I wasn't quite sure. I, I saw you doing something, but I was like, well, I don't want to stare at you while you're taking your sweater off. And um, so, yeah, I have a list because it's like today, even today, um, I w stood up and I, I chatted and, mm -hmm. and had specifically people wanting to talk to me. Mm -hmm. he did. He's like, I didn't take Ron's card because I wanted your, well, mm -hmm. I don't have a card yet. So that is for most a big deal to me, like right. first and foremost. On my card, Ron and I have discussed one thing that I think is an awesome, um, just a step in the door with, a really mm -hmm. to get people comfy, is I think those two are the bomb. Mm -hmm. As far as um, those are super, uh, they're cheap, they're they're going viral. They're, I mean, it's really efficient. You can just use your little smartphone, handy dandy smartphone, scan it in, and there you go, bam, you're right there on our page. Right. I just wanted with my smartphone that I go to my. Uh, red laser and anything that I have scanned is right. populated by date mm -hmm. and I think that's amazing. So yeah. I want to have one of those myself because that is going to be my key opener. That sure. is getting me in the door. Right. Once I'm in the door, I'll then get way more, a lot of discovery. Yeah, it gets hard to sell something if you're not using it yourself, right? right. Oh, hey, I want to sell you a QR code. Where's your QR code? Right, exactly. Oh, we don't have one. We can sell them. <laughs> it's really right. good for your business, but yeah. I, I don't have it. Yeah. So I, I sell uh, I sell Mercedes, but I drive an Audi. Probably yeah. have a great uh, a great stamp of approval, right? So get that list to us, okay? That that would be important. Okay. And then one other thing I was telling about is uh, obviously you know you go to these meetings. This is the ideal size. It's gonna fit into all of your binders and or your business card binders. I was telling them that this particular thing came in the mail. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long ago, months mm -hmm. ago. And I kept it. Mm -hmm. Out of all the, the refinance things I get, mm -hmm. I kept this one. Um, and it, you know, it had some, that's not the lowest rate I've mm -hmm. seen, you know, honestly. But I was like, you know, I'm just going to throw that in my work bag or in right. my purse. And Why'd you keep it? Because of its size, yeah. number one. What's the texture of it? Because it's also a fan. Yeah. 
And although well, I know those... But look at the texture of it. It's not just a piece of paper, right? It's right. Like, it's a harder card. It's a heavier stock. It's, it's coated, right? Postcards. That's why postcards are literally today one of the only effective direct mail types of pieces. Because a postcard, when you hold it, in our minds it says this is more valuable to you. Sweep everything else in the garbage can and keep that, right? Well, that's what do you I want to do with it? These, I still want to have the regular size business cards, mm -hmm. of course, for easy, you know, mm -hmm. to take. But when I'm going to go door to door, so to speak, at the businesses, mm -hmm. I want to have something that's uh, a trigger I can leave behind that gives even more information right here, you know, okay. <clears throat> and they have me in their heads right then. Okay. They also go, oh, that gal told me that they were going to help, she was going to help me get. Uh, some referrals, mm -hmm. and I, I need to call her again, mm -hmm. and it doesn't get worse. Right. I wouldn't want a ton of these, right. but I think they're really good right. for me to actually have it. Somebody right. I think is strong. Can, can I make a suggestion that I think may be a better format for yeah. it? Using that idea and methodology, okay? But rather than having a printed thing, okay, why don't we have an electronic one, okay? So I meet you, okay? And then I say, hey, you know what? I'm going to send some information out to you today. Let me get your email address, right? I won't gather that anyway. Right. Right? right. And I'll send this piece of information out to you. Two reasons I'd like to do that, okay? One is, what industry are we in? Written industry or technological, technological. electronic efficient industry? Right. right. When we use a piece like that in our industry, I think that that chips away at our consumer confidence. People view that differently. What is what? the second email, though, so like lost in translation? I mean, it's many well, junk emails. What, what, what a great way to follow up with your client. Right, of course. Hey, you, you know what? I sent you this last week. Yeah, I want to make sure you got it, and I wanted to follow up with you on it. Okay. Right? There's a, there's, a, I think a strong, I feel there's a strong methodology. I don't think I feel there's a strong methodology in doing it electronically. Okay. It gives us the same effect. The other side is we don't have any printing costs. Right. Okay. We can send that now to a whole bevy of people as well, right? You can give one of those to me and I can put it on my email list and send those out for you, right? We can get other associate relationships to help in those affiliate relationships to help send these out, okay. right? And we're not having the cost of the printing. The problem with this is eventually, okay, those will go from your desk okay. to the corner of the desk to another table and eventually go, oh, I've got that around for four months full. Right? I can always retrieve that from my email if I got a year ago. Right? Right. So there are some distinct advantages, but I think the And follow up, you're right, is key. Well, it is. But Even I, if it's in their email. Right. And, and now I've allowed or I've built a pathway for me to do that. And it's all based in making you feel better about our relationship. I'm relationship building while I'm doing this. Doesn't it make you feel good if someone's called? Right. Hey, I wanted to make sure you'd receive that information. I also wanted to thank you for, for the time we spent together. Who's that, Ron? What's that say? Handwritten. Lawrence, thank you for taking the time to meet me yesterday and for accommodating my schedule. I'm looking forward to our, <coughs> excuse me, for, to our meeting to follow up on these exciting opportunities. Best wishes, Kurt Chubb. Okay. Why do I have that? <coughs> yeah, handwritten. Send it to me. Did it mean something to me? Yeah, I attach to it differently. My phone. Yeah. Why do I still have it? You know me. I got a lot of paperwork in here. I'm not a. I'm not a hoarder by any means, right? Because it's not generic. It's a it did. It meant something. To me. This can be that same thing because what we can do now, okay? Even though we're not going to handwrite this. Okay, got postage and other things involved. Okay, well, sound like small expenses now, but they're expenses we don't have to have, right? And the reality is, the more we keep expenses, the more we can pay you and other people like you, right? But the reality is this: I can still do that because I can say, "Here's the information I spoke to you about sending you. Please review, right? I also wanted to thank you for your time, whatever it is. You know, appreciate the conversation, the feedback, whatever." Then I still get personal stuff in there. No postage, right? And I'm doing two actions or, or having two services come in or, uh, or two opportunities with one action, right? It's in the same email. Because this comes in as either an attachment or a PDF and I can still put my message in, right? So we kill two birds with one stone in that action, okay? Are you guys okay with the electronic version of that? 
Oh, absolutely, because okay. we're trying to sell our customers on email absolutely. marketing. Absolutely, right? Okay, so here's what I want to do. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I'm really thrilled with you, okay? I'd like to schedule some time, and I've got a break here in about two minutes, but I'd, I'd like to schedule some time next week that we can do some outside field training okay. together. You and I, okay? If you've got an appointment, that we can do during that time that you set up, that we can do a discovery together, okay? We're going to do the discovery together, just you and me, okay? okay? You can hear me and, and some of the things that I say and, and some of the things that I utilize. Some of those you may say, I can't use that, and other ones may go, holy oh, crap, that was pretty good, I want to grab that and use it myself, right? So it's a great opportunity for us, okay? Ron's been through that environment a couple of times with me as well, right? I think was it the very first door we walked in, the lady was just as cold as ice. Oh, cold as She was tough, yeah. right? Didn't stop us at all, did it? No. We had some good content. In fact, you made one sale in that in that area, and good possibility we can cut this guy if we can get him moving forward a little bit financially. Right. Right? Those are, those are things that just happen. There. But what I'd like to do is spend a couple hours out there with you and get you comfortable in how you're walking through the door and what you're saying. Because here's the deal. Let me hear your pitch right now. You walk through my office door. Here we are at Life Coaching Systems. You walk in. Hi, can I help you? Hey, Lawrence, how you doing today? Good. Good. Hey, I was thinking about uh, things I could do and help you get your business, uh, more visibility, maybe uh, have a juncture between you and me and, and get more of <laughs> you that I could do this. All right, let's try this again. <coughs> How are you doing? Good. My name is Kelly. I'm with Global Marketing Plus. Hi, Kelly. Hey, I'm not here to sell you anything today. Kay. I'm actually here to just form a partnership between our two businesses. Okay. Go to tons of meetings every week. I meet tons of people. Kind of like to get to know about you a little bit, what you offer. Um, that way, I can feel comfortable giving you some referrals. Okay. And in addition, I was hoping maybe we could have a business venture where you give me some referrals. Things like I like to do is I looked up at your website, and it truly was complicated to find. I mean, I, a little bit of searching and I found you, but I'd like you to be found right away, as I'm sure you would. Wouldn't you want to be the first sure. one to pop that? Sure. So if you give me a few minutes of your time, you've got 25, 30 minutes to go over what you've already been doing for marketing services, uh, what possibilities, you know, that maybe we could do mm -hmm. in, in, to enhance those things for you. Pretty much at 20 minutes, I'm just going to go over what you're doing. Okay. And then I'll leave you be, and then I'll make a final appointment with you to come back and show you things that I can do to help you. Okay. <coughs> happy with that, and, and we can make a deal. Great. If not, I still think I've learned a lot about you. I think I love your. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, your business um, that you do is awesome, mm -hmm. and I'd like to give you some referrals. Okay. So can I meet with you tomorrow or? Okay. Sure. Not bad, right? As good as it can be, Ron. Well, oh, I think everything can be approved. Okay. Yeah. There's. And once again, listen. Role, role play is <laughs> the hardest thing we're ever going to do. <laughs> Role, that one role play will be harder than any interaction you have out there. Mm -hmm. Right, Ron? Right. We've proven that. Right? Yep. It's hard. I understand. Here's the deal. Much better the second time because the whole first one. Like, no, the thing in my mind is I'm like, well, who the hell are you? Right. That's what I was going to say. Well, who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm going to do this right. and then. Well, who are you? Do I know you? Right? <laughs> so here's the big, big key. That was a lot of information, too. Right? Talked about a lot of stuff, but I'm kind of like, bing, bing, bing. You ever hear a Ricochet Rabbit, the cartoon? You know it, right? Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 Ricochet Rabbit. <laughs> Be careful of how we're spreading across, okay? Have you seen the script that we've written? Mm -hmm. Okay. You contain a lot of that stuff in there, okay? But that's where I want to work with you, okay? Because that entry is either going to make you or break you. Right. Period. The end, right? So if I can walk in, and I really don't have to say a whole lot, okay? Let me give you my presentation. Hi, my name is Lawrence Lee Broder. I'm with Global Marketing. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good. Listen, the reason I stopped in, I was interested in discussing the building of a relationship between our, our two organizations. Okay. And, mm. pardon me? Meaning? Well, first of all, tell me your name. My name is Kelly. Kelly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm a uh, uh, marketing company. We do website design and those types of things. Okay. And my real interest is lying in the building of a relationship, surrounding things like referral exchange, maybe some cross promotional opportunity, direct exchange of business should be something we can explore as well. I'd like to take maybe, you know, 30 or 40 minutes of your time, sit down with you face to face and 
So we have a thorough discussion. Allow me to find out a little bit more about your organization. I've already looked at your website and uh, you know got some information I'll just share with you in regards to that as well during that discussion. But really want to find out more about you, find out whether we're a good fit together or not. And if we decide that we are, I'd like to explore how we can expand those relationships. Tuesday at 3, Thursday at 4. Whose presentation was stronger for you? And don't just say mine if it wasn't. Well, because you're, you're more experienced at it, right? you went right through it. So mine was a little smoother, right? right? But, but let's not gauge that because you're a lot newer to this, right? Well, and, and you, you went on a, a specific path. You actually go into it more than I do because I don't talk that much about maybe we can do business and all that kind of thing. Yeah, those are shortcomings, right? Because if we're not talking about those things, if, if I walk in and I establish the footing or the foundation of the relationship just based on websites, okay, one, that's pretty difficult, and two, I've lost opportunities to build other relationships. When I go in and I say, hey, listen, I am interested in referral exchange with you, okay, we should put some very specific ideas together for that to work, right? I am interested in seeing if we could host some events or, you know, maybe put you in touch with other people that I'm connected with. Right? Uh, I'm interested in direct exchange of business. I don't know if that's applicable or not, but let's have a conversation about it. What is the right? person then? Okay, so, Lauren, you say, mm -hmm. yeah, let's meet tomorrow at 3, mm -hmm. and I, I used your pitch, <coughs> and I haven't, as your pitch went, mm -hmm. you didn't, you said little to nothing about what Global Marketing Plus does exactly. or what they have to offer. Exactly. And I so then tomorrow you come in, and, or mm -hmm. tomorrow I come mm -hmm. in and I, and you sit with me. Mm -hmm. And you start telling me about, um, well, you know, with my company, this is what I do, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. I'd like to get some information about just to see if I can help you. I'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. Depends on how you have the conversation. Well, I'd be okay. mad. I'd be like, yesterday you asked me for a meeting. You gave me 20 minutes. And my meeting idea was that you were and I were going to exchange business referrals. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you were going to sit down here mm -hmm. and try to find out information about mm -hmm. me so that you could get me something. Right. So here's how here's how I'd respond to that. Okay. First of all, okay, let's clarify the conversation we had yesterday. Okay, so I wanted to meet with you to discuss how we can develop these areas of relationship. Okay. okay. You don't know me and I don't know you. I'm not sure you'd be comfortable in referring business to me that way, nor would I with you. I don't want to get a black eye. I've been in business a long time. So we need to know a little bit about each other. Why ask for the meeting today? Okay. Part of the relationships were discussed. And we did talk about direct exchange of business. And we wanted to find out more about you. And frankly, I want you to find out more about me so we know who we're dealing with. If I'm going to have you help to refer business to me, you have to have at least a bare understanding of my business. And I have to have a good understanding of your business as well. Okay? Listen, if you want to just be cross promotion partners or referral exchange partners, I'm okay with that. Okay? Because there's real value for both of us. Okay? I have examined some things on your website, and that's how I make my money. And I'd like, I'd like to at least share those with you because, frankly, any partnership, whether it's a marriage or a business partnership or whatever, should have the strengths of what's there. And if there's weaknesses there, we should have a candid enough relationship to be able to share those with each other. You know, if I'm dragging a big anchor behind me, do you really want to be associated with me? If there's a way to cut that anchor clear, no, I hope that you, you would share that information with me. So, listen, if I've offended you or you feel like this meeting's not right for you, I'm okay with that. But I believe with what we discussed yesterday, we do have a great opportunity for relationship, and that's what I'd like to, to explore. And do you feel like when you get those... I've like never had anyone say that to me. That was a big fear of Ron, too. You've got, you got the same question I had, because I'm going into these discoveries as a sales call, and it's not. I go in there and say, okay... I need to find out about you so I know what kind of referrals to send you. And then I go through that. Right. And then And then they usually get comfortable that they oh, do they're always sure. comfortable. They're sure. always comfortable. And here's the deal. So it's these, not with yeah. the No, these are these are assumptions we put in our own heads from our own past association okay. and things that we've heard from other people. Okay. I have never had someone have that conversation with me. And I listen, I, I go out and train with a ton of companies. Yeah. Okay. I've never had anyone do that to me. Okay. I did have a lady that in fact, it was the one gal that, in fact, well, we said, we're not the right fit for you. Remember her? Right. Okay. I can't remember. She was like a doll shop. Doll shop. Right? And she was pretty aggressive. Well, what are you guys trying to sell me? Oh, She doesn't uh, have a cash yeah. register. Yeah, and I said, you know, we're, 
I can't sell you anything what? today. I'm incapable to even be able to sell you anything today because I don't know anything about you. I'm here to find out whether you're interested in a relationship. We spent about five minutes in conversation with her, and I just candidly said, you know what? I appreciate your time. Just doesn't seem like we're the right fit together. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. I shook her hand. We were out the door right over to the next person. Okay? But that type of activity where, you know, what, what you're referring to almost, to me at least, I heard more to like a bait and switch type of thing. That's what it seems yeah. like. Yeah, not easy that at all. And that's what Why it seemed like to me. Here's the deal. Here's, here's the deal. We could better it wrong. Don't bullshit yourselves about bait and switch. This isn't a bait and switch at all. One, I wouldn't be involved with this for the last development. But the reality is it's not a bait and switch. It's talking about how can we exchange referrals effectively? Okay. You know, how many people have you talked about referring business to with each other? And then you go, oh, great, we're all excited. You, run, you separate. Six months later, you run into each other. Hey, Kelly, it's great to see you. They don't refer to single lead to each other. What happened? No structure. That's what happened. There's no accountability. There's no structure. There's no, when are we going to send leads? How are we going to send them? Who are the leads you're looking for? Right. right? How do we communicate about knowledge that I may have about them that could be beneficial for you? That requires structure, which means we've got to have a conversation and lay those systems out. So this isn't some bait and switch BS type of scenario. This is, hey, we are deeply involved in networking, right? You can, it's a terrible term, it's kind of piggyback on life coaching system, right? I hold a networking group once a month. I used to do it weekly. But got a little too, with our growth, just got a little too controlling on time, but that's the reality, right? We are interested in those things. You've got a group right now that you can invite people to, that you can take all the value and advantage in, in that person's life, doesn't cost you a dime. You've got associations in there that can help to introduce other people that maybe you don't know. I mean, where's that not completely valid and, and completely integrous in what we're talking about? We do want to explore cross-promotional scenarios. We do. You heard me say direct exchange of business, right? right? I do want to explore that, okay? But if I just go in and it's all about a website, I guarantee what you're going to hear nine out of ten doors. Got one, not interested, I and there's no value there. I wouldn't say a website. Well, I, I know you wouldn't, right? But you've got to have other valuations that are part of part of the package. Right. And they are all valid. And that's part of the reason I want to get out and train. Ron, you've got to get on the road. Well, and, and just, you know, you don't even but, know if they want a QR code or can use one until you actually do the discovery. Right. So you might talk to them about a QR code and say, oh, I've already got that, or oh, I don't need that, or something. Right. I was just, um, again, thinking about not quite great. I, I, I come to this uh, location and they definitely do want to exchange business referrals mm -hmm. and things like that, but they don't need any or want to utilize anything I have to offer them. Right. I just don't want waste of time like that. Well, I want to well, get it Let me ask you this. That's a, let me just be really candid really quickly. That's just a, a mistake in your own thought process, Frank, to tell it. Okay? Because here's the deal. I make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, literally, from people who are not my clients that I've built associate types of relationships with that refer business to me all day long, and I refer business to them as well. And they're not coaching clients. If we close the door on that, that's really limited vision. Right? Yeah. Maybe you're not personally the right fit for my company, but we know 10 people who may be. Right. If I shut the door and go, oh, I can't do business with you, and I don't explore those other relationships, shame on me. That's a tremendous mistake. So we want to always be able oh, to I understand that. Well, I understand, but what you said is, hey, if that's a waste of time, if they're not going to buy business from me, here's the deal. You've got to be careful because you don't want to just have everybody that's just an associate. Right? Right, that's but, what I'm scared. Yeah. I want to have but, 300 of them. But, but a good mix, but here's the reality. You're just small. Okay. Because if we're doing our job correctly through our discovery, we're hitting those deficiency buttons. And it's not us that's hitting them. They're the ones that are sharing the information. They're the ones that are divulging their own stuff. I mean, it's a terrible analogy, but they roll the bullets in the gut and spin the, the uh, canister. All we've got to do is pull the trigger with a solution. Right. Okay? Well, for example, like last night, um, um, the gentleman that owns Jackson Hewitt, he owns 11 uh, franchises. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be meeting with him when um, March 11th, when okay. it's not so busy. And I said, you know, I said, if there's ways I can help you out to get you more visibility, awesome. If not, if it's just something you don't want to engage in right now, again, no biggie. Right. I really admire you. I think you're an mm -hmm. amazing tax guy. 
So I have no problem mm -hmm. putting your name out. And in exchange, I would love it if you know anybody that's coming to you that has a business or that feels like, or they say, I'm just not doing really good in business, you can offer them right. an opportunity to engage with me. Sure. Like, absolutely. Yeah. So that's how we left it. Right. I don't feel like he is a, an empty slot, nor right. do I feel like anybody right. else is. But where's the structure there that really ensures that that works? The agreement's been made now, but without structure, that will die up on its own. He has his own business he runs. You have your own business. If it doesn't get attention, yeah. But there's got to be a way to keep that attention there, right. right? So building the structure is important. Could we come in on Thursday? Could you come here at 12.30, and we'll go from 12.30 till 2.45 for training? Um, 10 a.m.? We have Rick. The yeah, Rick 11 o'clock one for Rick. And then isn't uh, then isn't that network meeting until one thirty? Well, until one, but we can just leave after Rick's meeting. Okay. Well, you want to? I can do it. At, uh, let me just see what I've got behind you. Yeah, I've got to be. I've got to be done by three. Let's let's just miss the network meeting. Next okay. So let's go twelve thirty, a week from today, Valentine's Day, February fourteenth. And okay. then it's a great day to go out and cold call. What uh, time do you need to be done by? I've got to be back here by 3 because I've got another training that I'm going to go do. Okay, I, have a, I have my MRI follow-up. Okay, so we'll, be, we'll definitely be done by then, okay? Okay. So, Ron, you'll get my email for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And let me do some outside field training. Mm -hmm. You said one o'clock, is that correct? Yeah, one to six. 